You're listening to Communities Live on Sheffield Live Radio 93.2 FM with Andrew Tildesley and me, Susie Casson, and we're joined in the studio by Scott Russell. Hello. Welcome, Scott. Thanks Thank for you. coming in. And Cheers. Scott, Scott is guitar with him. Wow, yeah. yeah, lovely. Which is a bit too far away from the microphone. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Great. I was promised a sound check here, but yes. Um, <laughs> there it is. Yes, you can't get the staff in there. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks for coming in, Scott. You're involved with tram lines, yeah, I believe. Yeah, Can this... you say a bit about tram lines for someone who hasn't heard of it? Well, yeah, tram lines. Um, I've only been in the city a, a few years, but um, it, since coming here, you know, you realise how big it is, really, yeah. and it just seems to get bigger and bigger every year. So yeah. it's a city-wide festival. Um, some of it's ticketed, so some of it's sort of official events, but there's also lots of fringe stuff going on as well. Um, and it takes in loads of venues, loads of clubs, pubs, bars, and loads of outdoor venues, so the main stuff obviously is the Ponderosa, you know. yeah. uh, and then the Folk Forest, which I'm involved with this year, um, up at Enfield yeah. Park and up the area around there. Fantastic, and I think it's the biggest urban music festival in the country, isn't it now? It's really flourishing. I think, yeah, you're probably Great right. Yeah, yeah. It's abs- when you look at the programme, yeah. it just it's mind-boggling yes. how much stuff there is on. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so you've got an event as part of Tram Lines. Yeah, well, it's it's through Folk Forest. Um, the Folk Forest um, have got a bit of funding from the Arts Council and the Year of Making uh, this year to expand their their offer, the, the music and things that they put on at the Encliffe Park stage. Um, so there's the Glade, I think, which is uh, the ticketed part. You have to have a wristband to get to see the acts there, and there's some really good acts on in there, which I'm hoping to see. Um, but they they also have the Birdcage stage, which is in Encliffe Park itself, and they've got loads of um, stalls, and and that grows naturally every year. It seems. Um, that side of things but they're also adding heritage crafts this year so there's lots of workshops going on in that area that you can book on to yeah. um, and you can you can find that on folkforest.net forward slash heritage dash crafts or heritage hyphen crafts whatever that right. one is in the middle, in the middle. is the dash yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, and there's loads of workshops going on there like metalworking uh uh, leather work, sculpture, sculpting, all sorts. So, um, yeah. and that's all to do with the year of making, the Sheffield year of making this year. Yeah. Um, but also, I've been brought in to help out run a stage up at Shepherd Wheel for the first time as part of uh, Folk Forest. So on the Sunday, the twenty fourth, we're we're putting on music, theatre, and poetry up at Shepherd Wheel in around the back of Shepherd Wheel. Yeah, fantastic. And you need a wristband for a lot of tram lines, but some events are free. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that, yeah, a lot of the folk forest stuff at Encliffe Park is free. So yeah. I think it's only the main stage there that's that's part of the wristband. The rest okay. of it is free. The bird table stage, which is near uh, the Encliffe Cafe, uh, and all the stalls and Shepherd Wheel as well. That's all part of the free stuff. Great. Mm. So it's a lovely name, Shepherd Wheel. Where does that come from? Um, well, it's it's an old uh, grinding wheel that's, that's that's based by the River Porter, um, and it got the name from one of the chaps that used to lease it. Um, a few hundred years ago, he sort of it took on the name of him. Really, Fantastic. it could have been it could have been named all sorts of different things. Really, <laughs> the names changed over the years. It was uh, mentioned as Porter Wheel, I think, early on in its history. Um, yeah, and it's a lovely place. Um, yeah. Have, yeah. you, have you been up recently? No, I've, I've seen it on the internet. It looks fantastic. Oh, you should yeah. come and visit, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So are you playing yourself at the waterway? Yeah, I'll be doing bits and bobs throughout the day because um, we're open from 11am. It normally opens at 10 and closes at 4, but we're opening it a bit later so we can have um, stuff going on a bit later into the day. Um, I'll be there dipping in and out, sort of uh, helping out with the other acts and filling a bit of time in between. Um, but also we've got some brilliant people performing as well. We've got Nat Johnson, who's uh, not, she's a great local uh, singer-songwriter, and she's not playing anywhere else during tram lines this year. She's just playing at Shepherd Wheel. I managed to convince her to come and play there because she likes the place so much herself. Um, so she'll be playing. Uh, we've got Jim Geddy and uh, Toby Hay, two amazing guitarists that are quite well known around Sheffield. They're playing as well. And um, we've got theatre as well. The Dennis Edwards Players, who oh, are a local yes. theatre mm. group, are doing extracts from the Stirrings of Sheffield, Fantastic, the, the yeah. musical play about Sheffield outrages. Mm-hmm. And then the, there's a poetry walk um, called Urban Forest, which is set, uh, setting off from Hunter's Bar at about half one in the day you can book on that's on facebook as well to, to to find out more about and they're finishing up at shepherd wheel and they'll be doing some poetry readings and all of the the poetry they're doing there on part of that walk is all new stuff that's been written about uh, trees and places along Encliffe park and the porter mm. valley so it's all brand new material that's written especially for 
for that day, which oh, is quite lovely. exciting. Mm, brilliant. <laughs> so can you give us a taste of the kind of music we might be expecting? Right, OK, yeah. <laughs> Sheffield Live. OK, so this is a song called Sunday Night in Encliffe Woods. Um, I developed this last year for a, a, a musical uh, history walk I did as part of Tramlines, um, which went along the, the Porter River, and it was all about Encliffe Park and the area around there. This is basically um, taken from a, an article in the Sheffield Daily, Elegra uh, Daily Telegraph, Monday the 16th of May 1904. Someone wrote an article about conditions there in the park, because um, there had been a lot of reports at that time, because the parks were newly opened, about young ne'er-do-wells coming in and invading and taking over and being a bit naughty and rude. Um, so a, a, an intrepid reporter went down and investigated, uh, and he found actually that it wasn't that bad, so it wasn't really that exciting in the end. Um, I just thought the report was quite interesting and the, the language was quite colourful, as it was often back then. Um, so I just pretty much took it verbatim, you know, word for word, tweaked the words around a little bit so it scanned and then turned it into a little song. Um, and it's called Sunday Night in Encliffe Woods. Last night was the first fine Sunday night for weeks And the woods were just delightful Where one can stroll all the way to the peaks if the hoodlums are not acting frightful For a couple of hours or less Ending when dusk turned to darkness I watch proceedings in Encliffe Park Yes, under starry skies Oh, the time may come When the rising generation Will know how to act in a common sense way when it may be trusted to visit a beautiful park without sensation Without shouting boisterous behaviour and horseplay The attendance of the public was correspondingly large It was the customary mixed assembly Steadfathers and mothers with children in their charge Loving couples, groups of youths and maidens friendly The rowdies have not been frightened away one saw many groups of half a dozen lads Wearing caps and smoking cigarettes and threatening a fray While lots of girls around the same age took tabs Oh, the time may come when the rising generation Will know how to act in a common sense way When it may be trusted to visit a beautiful park without sensation Shouting boisterous behaviour and horseplay But there were some exceptions that intended to show That the girls are as bad as the boys, if not worse Half a dozen lads passed by girls aglow There was some jostling among them and some noise one of them nearly landed on the unwashed rascals Which would have been a terrible predicament The park is no such place for such indelicate scandals But the procession passed on without further incident I'm pleased to report Suddenly from another bevy of girls Came a loud unanimous laugh or shriek some joke had been made And the mirth which it occasioned Was expressed far more loudly than entirely necessary Oh, the time may come when the rising generation Will know how to act in a common sense way When it may be trusted to visit a beautiful park without sensation Without loud shouting and whistling and horseplay Near the boating dam there were no such affairs And the bathing pool reflects nothing worse than some dozen loving couples nestling mutely in their pairs In mute affection and one another they immersed They disturb nobody's peace and leisure And if they choose to do their lovemaking so publicly It can be said that it is chiefly their affair They might remember, however, that if love is blind it does not follow That so are we, oh 
the time may come when the rising generation will know how to act in a common sense way when it may be trusted to visit a beautiful park without sensation oh the time may come when the rising generation will know how to conduct itself in a common sense way when it may be trusted to visit a beautiful park without sensation Without loud shouting and whistling and rough and tumble and exuberance and rowdiness and liveliness and unruliness and horseplay. But that time is not yet. Fantastic. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. Can we quickly just ask you about Sheru songs as well? Yeah. Uh, is it. Yeah, you've been writing some songs. Yeah, right yeah. So Sharrow Songs has been going for a, a few months now. It's a, it's a community creative project uh, based in Sharrow. We we work from Regather Works, um, who are incidentally the same people who organise Folk Forest as well. So they're okay. a brilliant, brilliant bunch Lovely. involved in loads of stuff. We're based there. We we meet fairly regularly, um, and we we've been going on history walks around Sharrow, learning about the area, its past, sharing stories about its present, and, and things like that, and the experience of living there. Um, we've also done creative writing workshops um, with local residents there as well. And also recently, um, something that grew quite organically out of the project, when we were on one of our history walks, uh, one of the participants, Ian, talked about a song that he'd heard called um, Sheffield Streets by Amy Allison, an American songwriter who lived in Sheffield for a while. And he said how great it was, and he loved the way that it summed up what was great about Sheffield. And we came up with the idea of rewriting that and calling it Sharrow Streets. So sort of ad adapting the words for Sharrow. And we came up, we've been working on that um, in our workshops. Um, um, so we've got a song called Sharrow Streets now that Fantastic. was co-written. Could you play that for us? Yeah, sure, yeah. So this is co-written by Ian Wilshaw, Tina Bell and myself helping out a bit. Um, and like I said, it's based on uh, Sheffield Streets by Amy Allison. Um, and we uh, it's not quite finished yet. This is called Sharrow Streets. <laughs> I felt at home So I would walk around Parts were so old this little Sheffield town I walked on streets Where once broom makers trod And blacksmiths wear Horses hooves were shod I felt at home And oh it was so sweet When I would walk Sharrow streets If those streets could speak What a tale they tell Demolished homes Where German bombs once fell I've changed so much You'd barely know me now From back to back to lands down flats I felt at home and oh it was so sweet when I would walk on Sharrow streets when I would walk on Sharrow streets That one. Yeah, it's a very nice song, <laughs> and this, yeah. so that was only half of it. We still got to finish the second really half. <laughs> a work Great. in progress. Oh, you have to come and play it again. <laughs> Lovely. So, can we just recap? You're at the Water Wheel stage at Shepherd Wheel. Yeah, a uh, week on Sunday, tw the Sunday the twenty fourth from eleven till five. Lovely, and lots of free events and workshops. Loads. It'll be brilliant round. There'll be loads going on. Like I say, lots of heritage craft workshop workshops. If you're interested, book onto those because I think the spaces are filling up fast. Loads of music and, and activity and food and drink and fun. Yeah. Great, lovely, and the best way is the Facebook page to. Yeah, I think if you search on yeah. Facebook for. Uh, Folk Forest 2016 or Folk Forest at Shepherd Wheel. Both of those events are up there to find out more. We're updating those daily with information. 
Sharrow Songs. Actually, our next event is on Monday. We're doing a photography walk around Sharrow. Thanks for asking. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for reminding yeah. me. Yeah, a photography walk where we'll be going around Sharrow, taking pic- lots of pictures of the area to use um, uh, for inspiration and hopefully in our in our final publication at the end as well. Great. Lovely, Scott. Thanks very much for coming in. That was Thanks really for inviting